Uh, let's uh, turn our attention now to Bengaluru, where there's a startup that's doing something different. A startup in Bengaluru is winning the hearts of its employees. It started uh, giving leaves to help them cope with stress. Now, it's difficult to recall if any company gives so-called stress leave here in India. The Bengaluru-based company believes that an emphasis on mental health of employees will result in greater productivity. The move comes after some companies opened up to the idea of period leave. Here's a report by Nishita Virendra. <laughs> Health often takes a back seat in today's competitive job market. And when it comes to mental health, the taboo surrounding it only makes matters worse. But Bengaluru-based startup DocsApp has made it a policy to give out stress day offs to its employees. I think with the hustle and bustle of life, the way our corporate lives work, uh, we all know that there is work-related stress in everybody's life, right? At DocsApp itself, uh, with the kind of online consultations that we are doing, we have seen that Around one to four consultations that we have online for counselling come because of work-related stress, which is a huge number. The organisation took the decision after it realised that one out of every four calls it received were cases of work-related stress. With, relate, uh, with regard to stigma, I think when you stand up and you ask for a day off, you are not saying, I have a stomach pain, I have a headache and hence I need a day off. You're saying, I'm not feeling mentally well, I'm not feeling emotionally competent to come in and do my work and that opens eyes and people, uh, people are more accepting of that kind of an issue which I think really helps. Bengaluru is considered to be a fertile ground for startups. Often people leave stable lives behind to start their own company which could often be very stressful. We knew that you know stress and work-related issues, uh, which is causing mental health problems, has been very prevalent. In fact, we see more than one in four cases that we do for online counselling are all work-related. Uh, but then, when we realise that you know few of our own employees or people who are working in our team uh, are also finding it useful, and some of them even approached us when they wanted to you know take a leave or a sabbatical, which is uh, related to mental health, and that's when we stuck to us that hey. We are offering these services to a lot of people. Employees at DocsApp are related and hope that other companies will follow suit. I think the employees are taking it in a very positive manner. Uh, it's actually the need of the hour now because uh, uh, the startup culture that we have now and it's very, very... Um, uh, so so uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, physical uh, 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 fatigue that happens but on top of that there's a lot of mental fatigue that happens for the employees with long working hours and every every startup founder actually expects a lot of uh, a lot a peak in the productivity but uh, along with that uh, the founders that we have in DocSAP, Satish and Enba have been really really supportive and this policy has been really really uh, good uh, and all the employees have taken it very very positively. Amidst the growing competition in your workspace, increased physical and emotional stress as well as the taboo around mental health issues, it seems like this startup has shown the way forward for other corporates as well to give as much importance to their employees' mental health as their performances. In Bengaluru, with video journalist Shivo, Nishchita Vion. Talk to us more about what exactly that means. I'm joined on the broadcast by Gauri. She's the head of medical operations at that very same uh, startup called DocSAP. Uh, Gauri, good evening. Thanks for speaking with us. What, if I can ask you, made you start this program to start with? You know, DocSAP being a tech platform for healthcare, I think we, we already knew, know about the importance of health itself. And it's not just physical health that we talk of, we talk of mental health. And uh, being a startup, we do have, uh, you know, startups has, has its own challenges about having people who, who might be uh, having a lot of work and that can sometimes lead to stress. Uh, we have a very open policy here where people talk, people do communicate with their seniors, with the managers, with the CEO as well. And our founders are very open to us uh, being vocal about our problems and I think that is the best way that any company can go ahead. As a startup, it, it gives a culture where people can be open about it, they can talk about their issues and hence stress day off becomes an important part of it where people talk about their mental stressors and then take a day off to actually 
um, you know, kind of rejuvenate and come back to work with full productivity because any which way one, when one is stressed, one might not be able to give their full. And, and that is not something that we would want, right? We want passionate people to work with us and, and our team is like that. We have very energetic people who sometimes, if feeling uh, stressed, right. do come up with their issues and we do deal with it by giving them a day off. So I'm, I'm completely sold on the concept, but do you feel that, uh, you know, startups are more prone to this whole idea of employee stress or do you find that this is an across the board phenomenon? Um, uh, I think there's, you know, I don't, uh, it, it's like taking sides, but honestly speaking, if you had to ask me, uh, startup is a place where we have a lot of people who are passionate about their work and and how they uh, how they like their work for where they are and well though there is stress everywhere uh, there could be stress in a corporate job as well where there are a lot of deadlines and you might be either having too much of work or maybe no work at all as a as a source of stress uh, so stress per se is not really about being in a startup or being in a corporate uh, you know big MNC it is about how a person reacts to stress and, and how the seniors in, in, in that particular organization deal with a person who is going through stress. I think that is what is more important rather than the differentiating between where the person really works. Do you find, uh, Gauri, that work-life balance uh, proves to be sort of an important factor when we try to understand what stress is really all about? Absolutely. I think work-life balance is something that we, it's like, you know, balls up in the air and we are juggling it throughout in our life, isn't it? Like, ask me, I'm a working mother and it can be sometimes difficult, uh, be it family, be it uh, at work, professional commitments, and it can get difficult wherein the person sometimes loses focus on their own self. So I think the most important thing when it comes to work-life balance is not really about the work or the personal life, it's about the self. So if I can take care of myself and it is, it is, I think, applicable for everyone in any field. Uh, well, first is to focus on yourself and if you are physically and mentally healthy and feeling right, most probably you will be able to take care of everything else around you, which means either your family or personal life or be it professional life. Okay, I'm not going to stress you with too many more questions. This last one, uh, Gauri, how exactly does India compare when you look at stress with other countries? Well, uh, yeah, the fact remains that, yes, at, in India, not many places at, of work have in-house counsellors or psychologists who are available all the time for people to, uh, you know, really come up with their issues. As compared to, say, in US or UK or even other European countries, they really, uh, there are places where they now have kept the work, work timings as just six hours a day. And, you know, uh, that it, it apparently shows that it is, it is more productive for them. But in India, we really don't have those norms as yet but having said that um, lately as in the last uh, one one or two one decade or so we have seen a lot of movement especially by corporates to bring in a mental health wellness as a concept in their own organizations and in bits and pieces we do see people seeking help more openly right. either at their workplace or outside their workplace as well uh, there is a trend in urban india now to kind of normalize the whole stigma attached to mental health and i think that's a fantastic move I think we need to talk more about this. We need to start accepting that there can be issues that people have and openly talk about it and let them seek help at the right time and from a right place or source, you know. I think uh, we do have a long way to go if we had to compare ourselves with West, but we have come a long way from where we were. I uh, completely agree, Gauri. Thanks uh, very much for joining us on the broadcast and explaining that concept to us. I'm sure there are a lot of employers there uh, who are watching who might have gotten a bit of stress from that idea itself.